my name is Sabrina. Hi, my name is Andrea. And for the next three days, we're gonna be swapping morning routines. I snooze about 20 times. I think about all the things I could possibly skip just so I could sleep in like a few minutes longer. When I finally roll out of bed, I take a quick shower, I get dressed really quickly, leave home, grab breakfast, on the way to the train, do my makeup on the train, get to work and it's a really quick morning. If, even if I'm running late, I cannot skip moisturizing. Like, it's important. You can cut out anything else but not moisturizing. I wake up <laughs> at around 5.45 and then I will brush my teeth, I'll do my skincare routine, which is, you know, cleanser, toner, moisturizer, and then I will do my makeup and my hair. At home? Yeah, all at home, eat breakfast, and then I will either watch like, reality TV like Jersey Shore or <laughs> the real watch TV. Wives. And then I will head to the gym, work out for like 30 minutes, and then I will go to work. <clears throat> I like to get off at Times Square because it's the stop before where I work. Oh God. I hope you come to like your new routine. <laughs> I've always wanted to be the person who wakes up early and is on top of everything in the morning. And I guess now I'm gonna have to do it. I'm most nervous about my days being thrown off. Like I need that extra time to like get myself together. So follow us for the next three days as Sabrina and I swap morning routines. Up. I'm gonna stay up because <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this. Right now it's 6.56. I've been up for about an hour and I still have an hour to go pretty much until I can actually get out of bed and start my day. This is not fun. One alarm snoozed and three to go. I could do this while showering. I just shut off the second alarm and it's getting later and I'm like, I need to get out of bed. I never have breakfast at home. Like I cannot remember the last time. I sat down to eat. Look, I'm actually, this is eggs. Andrea, I don't know how you do this. The only thing that's bringing me peace is knowing that you're probably suffering a little bit right now. Right now I have to go watch reality TV and poison my brain a little bit before I leave the house. Next part of Andrea's morning routine, even though we literally have like 20 minutes to get out of the house, is to lotion up or mo moisturize my body for 10 minutes. I don't know how. Let the moisturizing process begin. So I got out of stop early, I'm walking to work. It's actually nice to like pay attention to what's around me. Like, you know, I'm realizing that it's actually really pretty in the city. And now the scariest part is coming up, which is doing my makeup on the train like a psycho. I just got to work, I am on time. Even after like sitting and eating breakfast at home and watching shows and listening to a podcast, I made it. It is 10.22 and I just walked in the door at work. I'm supposed to start at 9.30. This is the most off I've felt in a long, long time. And I hope that tomorrow starts off better. Why? Dun dun dun. It is now 7.42. 7.43, the last snooze has been hit. We can start the day. For now, we're just straightening it up. Also, I should introduce you guys to this thing that's been with me on this journey because it would be rude if I didn't. Let's name her Pippi. Pippi the mysterious zit. That's what I decided to do. I'm running in slow motion, of course. Okay, I am speeding to the train a little bit. You have no idea, like, it's so nice not having to rush in the morning. It is 8.41, oh my god. I don't even know if I've seen this neighborhood at 8.41 in the morning before, so. Relax? That's like, that's just a word that I've been using a lot for the past few days. But now I see why Sabrina does this. Sorry, Pippi. Okay, we're good. All right, head.
headed into work. Actually, three minutes late. Hello. Hi. <laughs> What's up? I did not. Thought something had happened. Nope, I'm alive and well. <laughs> I actually got out of bed, went to a gym, got on a treadmill, and worked out before coming to work. It's a whole different life, and I'm loving it. That's all I have till tomorrow. Thank God it's the last day. Morning three. Last morning, last morning shower of my life. Here we go. And I'm eating breakfast. Wow. You can really do this at home. And like, I wonder how Sabrina's doing. Does anyone care that I'm doing my makeup right now? Does anyone care that I'm doing my makeup? <laughs> Nobody cares. I think that's it for the morning until I get into the office. Late for three days in a row. The challenge is over. Thank the Lord, it is over. I can sleep. I missed my bed and my pillows. I'm done, I'm finished, I will never do it again. I can't wait to get back to my life. I don't know how people wake up so early every single day. I am definitely not a morning person. It was just really hard. I was so, so used to my regular routine, my unhealthy, like mentally unhealthy routine. I can't believe I'm actually, like this, just three days, just changing my schedule for three days is actually making me want to change my everyday routine. I'm so, so, so happy I did this challenge. Just getting to work and just feeling like that's all. I have no time for myself. That is just really hard and I am so grateful that it's over. Thank you so much for watching our morning routine swap try this challenge video. Hope you all enjoyed. Bye.